The fitness world is crowded with people. And I've noticed a huge increase of people, fitness influencers, trying to take over the world, trying to be the next Sam Sule. Anyways, the point of this video is I'm going to go over one person that a few months ago uh, it popped up in my YouTube uh, reels, <laughs> my YouTube reels, my YouTube shorts, and uh, I saw him. Seems like a nice kid. Didn't think too much of it, but then when I noticed that he had over six hundred thousand subs, um, I realized, oh well, this guy is probably doing something right. Today, when I was scrolling through TikTok, I noticed someone was reacting to him coming out. Yes, he came out as a fake natty. Well, let's get right into it. Okay. Okay, so um, it's been five seconds and the guy is definitely doing a cinematic approach to his coming out video. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> Honestly, I never really thought I would make this video. I'm guessing a lot of you are probably going to feel pretty let down by this. You might even feel a bit betrayed. He's talking probably to the people that he used to talk to in the beginning. He Again, I haven't seen any of his content before. The content that I've seen, it was uh, uh, through the shorts. Quick videos talking about training and whatnot. Uh, I didn't think too much of it. I didn't even think he was not natural because he looked like a very normal guy. Like He does have a physique that's very easily attainable naturally with maybe two to three years and some good genetics, right? But uh, let's see what he's saying. Play. Um but I'm guessing you probably just feel lied to. And that's because you have been. I lied to you. So clearly, I'm a piece of shit, right? I never asked any of you to look up to me. I'm not your god. I'm not a king. I am a man. I am fallible. All I ever wanted to do on here was to be relatable and to be personal, to be your friend. I never asked to be pedestalized. I never asked for any of that. So I want to make it very clear in this video, I will not be apologizing for a mistake I made. I'm simply owning up to that mistake and taking accountability as a man. Here's the thing. Um, ugh. Hey, you're not going to apologize. You're not going to apologize to what? Apparently, you probably... No, no, probably. You did lie to people. Sounds like. like you know that. And then you're saying that you won't, you won't apologize for it? Huh. That's an interesting beginning of the video. And that is why you will not hear me say sorry today. Because the truth of the matter is, right, is this making this video right now is debatably one of the most selfless things I have ever done in my entire life. One of the most selfless things. Wow. Oh, this one is going to be good. Make sure to watch till the end. The real truth of it is, is that I could continue to lie about this, keep making money from it, and none of you would ever know, just as most of your favorite fitness influencers do. And do you know why they do that? Sure, yes, some of them likely use it for financial and social gain, of course. But the real reason is because the fitness industry is toxic as shit. And that's why I'm here doing this. I created the channel to make sure that all naturals in the world get united and we can conquer and destroy the pathetic people that use performance enhancing drugs uh, that are not even bodybuilders. If you notice, 90% of the fitness influencers, they're not huge bodybuilders, meaning that they don't win stuff. Like the only one that you know and I know is this guy, right? And he doesn't even do YouTube to the, for the most part. Like he does a little bit of YouTube, but he's not like a main influencer like other kids like what the trend twins what's that <laughs> they do they, like their name is actually a PED like twins and they're famous <laughs> look at that it's an example of someone that is very pathetic right pathetic human beings they can perform and enhance drugs before the age of 25 yes natural we're better going to be crucified for this shit <laughs> and that is why people are so afraid to talk about it logistically mm -hmm. speaking this is a very stupid decision i'm making to talk about this specifically financially right now i'm making more money than i ever have in my entire life i made 10 grand off of youtube alone last month bro 10 grand off of what is that should i hop on the sauce should i Ooh. maybe if i do it i can get money <laughs> Finger in the month of you. No, that's just pathetic. Look, he has to be doing this video now because his conscience can let him sleep. Even though he said, I'm not going to be apologizing for it. He's doing this, not for Cloud, obviously, because he knows he's going to get negative reaction on this. But he's doing it because some some way he knows what he did was wrong. 
could cause a lot of you to withdraw your support from me and essentially undermine everything I have worked so hard to build. But I cannot profit off a lie anymore. You know, this has eaten me alive for some time now. You know, the way I see it, you guys- Bro, I didn't even, again, this is a blind reaction. I didn't even know he was gonna say that, but yes, exactly why he's making this video. Gave me this platform and you can take it away if you want. You know, if I'm to be crucified on the internet for telling the truth and that is my fate, then I accept my fate. So yeah, just over three years ago now, I took a SARM. <laughs> so a SARM, for those that don't know, is um, one of the lowest tier easily accessible type of PDs. I don't know too much about it, but from what I've heard, it's like, you know, trash, trash gear. Quite a traditional steroid. You know, this is probably a category below, but nonetheless, it is still a performance enhancing drug. The compound that I took was MK2866, more commonly known as Osterane. I purchased them in 15 milligram tablets and I cut them in half. So I was taking 7.5 milligrams of Osterine every hmm. day. And I did that for a month and some change. Now I am not trying to defend what I did or sugarcoat what I did by any means, but understand that women who take Osterine, they take more than that, okay? So this was an extremely minimal and conservative dose of the drug I was taking. Now I have to interject, like, no, it doesn't matter how little you take, how much you take, quality of it doesn't even matter. Just think about this. You own a life someone once, that will make you an unaliver forever. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. Oh, I, I'm not unaliving more people anymore. Yeah, but you did that once, so you, that's that's your category, your label as that. I'm not saying people cannot grow and get better with time, but that doesn't change the fact that your label as an unaliver. Based off my research, this was the friendliest and safest inside the SARM community in terms of side effects. And considering it was my first time taking anything, you know, I just wanted to get my feet wet. Little did I know this was the start of a living nightmare for me. It completely crashed my testosterone. I was between one and 200 for a very long time. That's a problem. One of the main issues with, with taking performance enhancing supplements is that once you take them, you need to keep taking them to maintain certain level that can either be testosterone. That's a problem with taking performance enhancing supplements. We don't know how I didn't kill myself. I had severe depression. You know, my dick didn't work um, and I had no. Well, yeah, that's part of it. Props to you, dude. Like you're, you're owning up like that. That's the thing. You got to give it to him. But doesn't change the fact that he already monetized profited from this and a lot of people believe he was doing this naturally and some kids might have just you know feel like wow i'm trying my hardest watching his content hey i'm doing everything he's telling me but i don't look nearly like him that's the thing like there are some teens 20 year old kids that are like not there yet and because someone has certain cloud right like a platform they trust that person more than their own family members and that's that's the sad reality that we live in now been completely drug free completely natural since then my current physique is completely natural and i look the best i ever have in my entire life i'm cutting so now see i have to disagree your current physique is a result of you taking that four years ago because the progress that you made the muscle that you attain was attained through those means now that you are not taking them that doesn't mean the things that you did are changing that's why i go back to my analogy in the beginning once you're on a live someone you are not on a liver that's it you already benefited from it and that will be for the rest of your life again that you already gained that edge and that, that will be within your body for the rest of your life but uh at the end of the day if you're gonna do this like get into the fitness journey Try to figure out what you want to end up doing because you can either be a power lifter, you know, a power builder, a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders are the ones that take the PEDs for the most part, but they're also natural bodybuilding. And you don't need to go through what he did to become famous. Like you can literally get the physique that he had through the means of, you know, proper nutrition and proper workouts. It's easy. Now this is very easy to get an aesthetic physique. And of course, if you do have the genetics, that will be way easier as well. Not everyone has the genetics though, but how would you know if you don't try? I'll leave you with this. Stay natural.
it is now worth it. Again, yes, you know, wow, he made ten thousand dollars like last month uh, you know, of YouTube. That's okay. You know, people can make as much money as they can, but that doesn't mean that that will bring you peace. Look how he's struggling with all this that he lied about being natural. Uh, remember, you have to be twenty five years old for your brain to fully develop. You can get gains. It's not that hard. And do be patient. Like, that's all you need to be. A little bit patient. Because when you take this stuff, yeah, you can get the physique that you want eat faster than before. But that doesn't mean that your mental cue, your mental state will be there. Because taking PEDs will mess up with that. If you're already getting angry easily, that will make you angry air. So don't listen to any of those people that are saying, yeah, you know, one cycle will make me feel uh, it won't do anything to me. No, that's a bunch of BS. Look inside within you and make sure you do the right things all the time to achieve the next level. I'll leave you here. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, if you like this type of content. Stay natural. Be natural. Yeah, that's all I have for today. See ya.